hello everyone um not a whole lot going on today this is january the 15th because it is 2 42 a.m because i have gone back to my vampire hours and um tend to be up all night i have my little group of friends i chat with late at night and um it's hard to break away sometimes and um, not a whole lot going on I'm just kind of chilling out tonight and um, something kind of weird happened to me today <laughs> it's this guy who works at a business that I go into once in a while he's been flirting with me and giving me the eye and sometimes I'm a little dumb about these things but I was positive without a doubt that he was coming on to me and thought I was hot and complimenting me and stuff. And uh, and tonight I'm talking to him and he mentioned his boyfriend that broke up with him. And we were talking about TV. And I asked him if he liked American Horror Story and he was talking about how he watched it last season because Tate was hot. I was like, yep. Yep, he is. And look, I still got my tag on. I just bought this. Pardon me. <laughs> like mini pearl. My tag hanging off of my clothes. Anyway. So I'm still a little baffled by that. He may just be one of those people who just no matter what he does, his hot little self just exudes a certain sensuality. I've been told by a few people that I do that as well. I don't know if it's true that I just exude a certain something whether I mean to or not maybe that's the way he is but I'm kind of let down because I was really hot for him but oh well I can still dream can't I I probably stand a much better chance of of spending an evening with him if he's the gay boy I'm the fat girl than if <laughs> I'm the fat girl and he's the the fellow I'm digging that's the way it goes sometimes that's okay Whatever, more power to him. Bless his heart. Um, so, I'm, I'm trying to think if anything new has happened. Have I talked to you since New Year's? I had an unusual New Year's and Christmas. I basically spent it alone. Uh, part of it was a, kind of a snafu with uh, family plans because of supposed impending bad weather, which never happens. <laughs> so Christmas Day was beautiful, and I spent it here at home alone. But it's okay. It gave me a chance to work for my elderly neighbors. So they had some Merry Christmas cheer from me. And they got pampered and taken care of that day. So it's all right. Um, New Year's Eve I almost always spend alone. I've only had New Year's Eve dates a very small handful of times. Even when I was married. Because the man I was married to worked nights. And he was always working on New Year's Eve. And... Uh, and then when I was with that last guy, I think he took me out once or twice for New Year's. But a lot of times the weather here is nasty on New Year's. Or I talk myself out of it because I don't want to get out on the road with all the crazy junk people. Been out a few times. It's okay. It's not a major holiday for me. It's not a big deal. Uh, I did have a date for New Year's afternoon, but that got canceled. And I'm kind of glad of it, actually, because he was a freak. Freak freak i had to tell him off today trying to get rid of him still trying to shake him and out of the kindness of my heart i i agreed to go meet him for coffee and then wished i hadn't and then finally he was such a freak that it gave me a chance to tell him off and get rid of him but he won't stay gone anyway hopefully today after i was terribly mean to him he got very butthurt about it um, hopefully he will stay away. I have learned to do something. I wish I had one of my e-cigarettes in here. I love my e-cigarettes. Um, I'll try to demonstrate with this, but I don't. I was trying earlier and it didn't really show up on cam very well. This is some Damiana in my solo pipe. And I started doing this thing with the e-cigarettes. There's some that I love that are scented and flavored like clove and cinnamon. And they're so good. On the inhale, I don't taste it. I do taste it and smell it on the exhale. 
and it's so good I'm not done with it yet so I wanted to smell it some more so I learned a way of exhaling it and inhaling it through my nose at the same time so I can get another chance to taste it and smell it and then I exhale what's left out of my mouth and I was informed by somebody the other day that that's called a French inhale which I like that it had a name and I like that that it's a sexy sounding name because French anything is sexy right I don't know if you can really see it with this and if I weren't so lazy I would go out to the car and get my e-cigarette I don't know if you could see a lot of it got away before I can inhale it. It's more obvious and cooler with my e-cigarette. I ruined this lighter. Solo pipes are very good, but I um I left it with alcohol in it thinking I was cleaning it and instead it leaked all inside of it and messed it up and got it gummy. Aren't I cool? All right. I got people waiting on me in chat. So I just wanted to pop on here and say hi. Not be a complete stranger to everyone. By the way, ladies, this top, I know you can't see much of it. But you can see the top, and it's pretty cute on me. I got this for like, let's see how much. Where's my tag? Where's my tag? I've lost it. I got it for, oh, here it is. Got it for nine dollars at Family Dollar Store. I love it. Like I could conceivably wear it off my shoulders, I guess. Sexy, cute, nine dollars from Family Dollar. Or you can be all prim and you can tie it up, scooch it up on your shoulders. But that isn't me anymore. Arr. Okay, guys. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Mwah.